Weeks left until the session ends. The legislature's budget committee approved a new supplemental budget today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill. And I'm Brian Yacono. This comes after Governor Janet Mills and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle asked the committee to reconsider some controversial changes it made during a session that went until 3 in the morning. One of those changes was a plan to take away millions of dollars to the state's transportation fund and scale back retired people's pension tax breaks. New Center Maine's Sam Olson is at the state house tonight with more. Sam. Hi, Brian and Amanda. The Appropriations Committee approved a, an amended supplemental budget today, but before passing that budget, committee members spent some time undoing changes they thought were a good idea during an overnight session about a week ago. Changes that proved to be very controversial. And I don't understand why the other day at 3 o'clock in the morning it was, a, it was a good idea and now it isn't. Appropriations Committee members came into this work session knowing they had some big changes to make. It's, it's clear from the last week that we, we could use a good discussion about this issue. Fuel tax. Today, the committee amended one of the most controversial proposals it had previously approved, moving $60 million a year from the transportation budget to the state's general fund. This would have also given the Appropriations Committee more power over the transportation budget instead of leaving that power with the Transportation Committee. We're reversing a long-range policy commitment we made for very little reason in the dark of the night in the early morning. It was among a few moves that caused Governor Janet Mills and other lawmakers to tell the Democrat Majority Committee to reconsider the budget. Today, the committee also restored a pension tax break, which was approved just last year. They caused all these problems, and now they're showing up to fix them. The newly approved budget allocates almost $80 million to increase the number of affordable housing options in our state, puts $26 million towards supporting nursing homes, and invests almost $13 million in Maine's child care system. The budget also funds $20 million to mental and public health. This funding will go towards mental health crisis intervention and staff recruitment. And again, this budget was just approved by the committee a short time ago. Now it will go in front of the full legislature for approval. In Augusta, Sam Olson, New Center, Maine. Sam, thank you.